The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. Marcus Pfister was born in 1960 in Bern, Switzerland. After attending art school in Bern and receiving training in graphic artistry, he worked from 1981 to 1983 in an advertising agency. In 1984, he left the agency to focus on his own art, namely picture books. He published his first picture book, The Sleepy Owl, in 1986 with North Sud, but it wasn't until 1992 that he truly broke throughout as an internationally acclaimed children author with The Rainbow Fish. Since then, he has received several international awards, and his work has been translated into over 50 languages worldwide. Fister and his family still live in Bern, where he continues to create more beloved children books. A long way out in the deep blue sea there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come on, play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his trouble to starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give you give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never. I could be happy without them. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The light blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered one only one very small shiny shimmering scale he thought well maybe i wouldn't miss just one carefully the rainbow fish pulled out the small scale and gave it to the little fish thank you thank you very much the little blue fish blubbled playfully as he tuckled up shiny scale and among his blue ones a rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish for a long time he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whisked, whisked through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he, the more he gave away, the more delighted he, he became. When the water around him was filled with glitter, glimmering scales, he at least felt at home among other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here it comes, said the rainbow fish, and as happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends.